It's all about bee stings and America today, folks. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> I mowed the lawn today. Beautiful day. 82 degrees with a nice breeze. Oh, it's just perfect day to mow the lawn. Carol cleared, uh, cleaned out the shed. The boys were playing with squirt guns. Found a yellow jacket nest. Got bit or stung by a yellow jacket. I hate that. That's just the twelfth time since I've lived here. Ten years. That's more than one a year. Actually, it's not because it was like nine one year, and then like one or two last year, and then one this year so far. Yellow jackets suck. They hurt. Oh my god. They're like incredibly painful to get stung by. If you've never been stung by one, then I don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm trying something new here. Um, I had this all set up, except I haven't moved cameras back into positions where they were, and like, I'm not too worried, no, not really concerned about it. Because um, I think at some point I'm going to close off on this one, and I'm going to take this one outside. Well, actually, I'll probably shut down both of them that way. They end at the same, roughly the same spot. Uh, that's a lot of explaining that you didn't really need to know. <laughs> it's a funny thing. I'm going to get two more <laughs> and stop broadcasting in Matrix. <laughs> There's where virtual, re virtual reality. <laughs> <laughs> could come in if I had enough cameras in here. You could live virtually right beside me. I might be going a little too far. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we decided not to go out for fireworks today. We wanted to get a lot of stuff done around the house. We brought a bunch of, well, Carol brought up a bunch of trash from the uh, shed, which I was trying to save. <laughs> And put it on Craigslist, and before the end of the day, like, half of everything that was out there was gone, pretty much. Some of it was wood, some of it was toys, some of it was just, uh, that's about it. <laughs> uh, we had the new extension cord, too, so I got to use my limb trimmer thingy, the, the <laughs> that thing. <laughs> it's about 21 inches long. It's not like a chainsaw, though. Well, it's like a chainsaw, but not like a chainsaw, because it doesn't have a chain. Well, I trimmed back the holly bushes. Everything I could reach. Everything else is still, like, way over my head, and, like, I need to get a ladder. But it was starting to get hot towards, like, 2 o'clock or something like that, so we ended up bailing on that project. But we've got the next few days off, so I think we're going to progressively get a little bit more done here and there. We've been looking at smaller houses. Um... And it's, it's actually becoming a possibility, like, to move somewhere. As long as we can get a job. Like, I think we can live pretty inexpensively if we get a house that we can have a very small mortgage on. And, like, a lot of these tiny houses, like, I'm not saying we're going to move to one of those. But, like, fi under 500 square feet I've seen go, you know, really cheap. 10000 25000 depending on, like, the size and... How much land and where it's located and stuff like that but I think that's awesome like I think it'd be great to buy a few acres in a big parcel like and slowly buy a little bit more here and there and then have that land to at least camp on or do something on until you get to the point where you can actually build something there or start building I mean you can, you can lay a foundation and let that just sit I would imagine that'd be okay wouldn't you I don't know <laughs> I don't know too much about building. Never been a builder. Bob the builder, though. He can fix it. Damn. <laughs> um, I was thinking about all this rebooting that, uh, you know, um, Hollywood is doing. And, like, is it only a matter of time before somebody reboots the Bible? <laughs> now, now, hear me out. Hear me out. It may sound a little crazy, but... I mean, religion, to, to a certain degree, is crazy anyway. Like, you have to be a little crazy. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, like, I think about that, and I'm like... <sighs> eventually, some of it, you know, everything's going to go to a digital medium for a long time until we come up with something else beyond digital, which I couldn't even begin to imagine where you would go from there. I don't know. I, 
No idea. <laughs> After digital. Like, it can't get any smaller because <laughs> that doesn't exist. It's just bits and bytes floating around in the air, broadcasting out to our noggins. <laughs> mm. But happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, I hope you guys had fun. The kids got to go see fireworks last night. So, during episode 100. <laughs> Which I think was a phenomenal episode. Now I'd like to get the brothers together. United. Standing as one on the road to 40. <laughs> How epic would it be? It'd be fun. Then we'll get the whole nerd herd. Ooh, I like that. I'm sure that's already been used. I don't know. I haven't heard any fireworks yet tonight. I thought I'd take this camera outside just in case people are lighting them off or something like that. Because I did say I was going to record at Wintergreen, but we didn't end up going there. We got a lot of shit done, though. So that's all that matters. And the kids had a good day. And we ate some pizza. It was delicious. Best deal in town still. All right. Check this out. Monday through Thursday at La Villa Express down on... They close on Sundays. <sighs> Uh, Candler Station in Lynchburg, Virginia. Like any day of the week, you can get a large one topping pizza and two drinks for eleven, ten ninety nine, ten ninety nine, or maybe it's nine ninety nine because we have a ten percent entertainment tax here. So, going out to eat is considered a form of entertainment, I think. So that's so it's ten dollars plus entertainment. Yeah, that's because with tax it's like eleven seventeen, I think. It's not too bad. That's not too shabby. And their pizza's pretty good. I know the guy that owns the place. Not well, but, like, I've been going to La Villa ever since we moved here. And he's, a, he's just a cool guy and a good chef. And he's got his shit together. So, <laughs> I like the food. Um, and you can now, Monday through Thursday, get any lar large pepperoni with two drinks for eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine. I think it's nine ninety nine. I don't know. Good deals. I'm just saying. It's the best deal in town. La Villa. La Villa Express over on Candler's Mountain Station. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll probably go eat some right now, to be honest. I think there's three or four. <coughs> Yikes. <coughs> three or four more pieces left. Maybe go sit outside with a drink, listen for the fireworks, maybe see some. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of want to mess around with this camera outside anyway, because in low light situations, it's failed me. <laughs> so I'm hoping there's like a night vision. Not that I want to film in night vision, but I mean, I have another choice if I want to film outside at night and actually have light. <laughs> so um, happy 4th of July, everybody. Stay away from yellow jackets. They hurt like a son of a bitch to get bitten by or stung by. I don't know what it is, but my leg's swelling up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not good, though, folks. <laughs> I might just cut it off tonight and save myself a trip to the hospital. No. It's not that bad. It's just... Oh, it's achy. And I, I haven't been bitten by one in a long time. This one was a big one. I don't know if size matters. When it comes to bees and their sting, I'm just saying that this one was pretty big. When I looked down and it was on my leg, I was like, holy shit. Like, I don't want it. Ow! <laughs> and that's pretty much exactly how it went. And I swept it off. And then I was really careful in that section going back and forth doing the lawn. And I didn't see any more. But tonight, I saw a few around a pole where the right where the kids were playing. They were banging on this pipe and da 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 and also I saw one or two or three and I said, get over here now. Like, like I'm hoping that <laughs> they learn when I say that, do it. Like, I wouldn't steer them wrong. Like, there was like a bunch that came out. Not, not a swarm, but I think they were scouting out, being like, hey, uh, what the hell's going on up there? Let's go take a look for Charlie. <laughs> Charlie and Ed go up. They're like, uh-oh, we've got two little stompers out here. And they've got water guns. <laughs> So I pulled them over, and then I went and I speared the ground with... I had this old pair of shears that broke in half, and I lost the bolts and nuts for And I know I could buy new ones, but one of them's broken anyway. So my favorite thing to do, and, and I hope this doesn't sound sadistic, but 
if I find that there might be a yellow jacket in the area, I love stabbing the ground and then like walking away for a few seconds and seeing what happens. Because eventually you poke something and it riles them up and then you can confirm that you've got a nest there. Which sucks because I don't want them there. The kids go there all the time. So unfortunately i got to gas them out and uh, hopefully that will do it. I've had to do that twice since we've moved here. That sucks. <sighs> Imagine that, just sleeping. Yeah, just, uh, and then all of a sudden your house is filled with gasoline. You're like, no! <laughs> I'm drowning in gasoline! Alright. <laughs> Thank you for coming here on the 4th of July. I'm going to go outside and see if I can hear or see anything. Um, and I'll report back to you on that, our findings, one way or another. <laughs> so, um... You know, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. You know, uh, do your best to make yourself a better person than you were today. And hopefully we can make this world start spinning a little happier together. You and I. Like that. Just like this. 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 Stop. And you guys have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night on episode 102 of The Road to 40.